everybody, this is James, and today I'll be talking about the Charter Arms Pathfinder N22 Magnum. It's a neat little 22 Magnum, six shot, double action revolver. And uh, I want to show you exactly why you do not want to buy one of these. But first, let's get a closer look at it. Now, if you've been with me for a long time, you know that I'm pretty impartial when it comes to Charter Arms revolvers. Charter Arms has been making revolvers since 1964, and they've made some pretty good ones over the years. Uh, this one's the Pathfinder model, uh, light. This one's in 22 Magnum, though it is available in 22 Long Rifle. Basically, it's their Rimfire edition of their little snub nose uh, revolver. And if you guys have been with me for a long time, you know that I really do like the uh, Bulldog series of revolvers. One of my first semi-serious reviews was on the uh, Charter Arms Bulldog and 44 Special. Uh, great little gun. Uh, this one though, not so much, but we're going to get to that. Uh, the overall features of this gun, the gun weighs just over 16 ounces, fully loaded. Depending on what kind of advertisement you read, it's between 12 and 20 ounces, which is uh, kind of changey. But again, I measured this out at 16 ounces loaded. Uh, of course, you have your cylinder release right here. Six shot cylinder. There's your ejector rod. And you have a two inch barrel and a full under lug that supports the uh, ejector rod. Of course, the gun is double action, which means you can pull the trigger all the way through, fire the gun. This one has a little hammer spur, so you can cock the hammer for a very light single action pull. Uh, very light, just over two pounds on my scale. Uh, but that double action is about 14 pounds. It's over my scale, and it's rough and heavy. But with a little bit of practice, I was able to get pretty used to it, get some good hits on target. Uh, it has an aluminum frame, but otherwise, you have stainless steel appointments and a pair of uh, gutter sights. Very typical stuff there. You also have a pair of uh, plastic grips, which uh, more like rubber grips. They give a good full grip, so you're able to point the gun and shoot. Um... A little ill-fitting you can see some gaps right here but like I said pretty comfortable and um, overall it's a pretty uh, neat little gun to shoot low recoil the 22 Magnum has very low recoil but it packs quite a punch compared to a 22 long rifle all right guys we're loaded up with some uh, CCI maxi mags uh, 30 grain HP plus V hollow points really hot stuff uh, these little short barrel revolvers are really designed for uh, up close and personal uh, self-defense. So we have a little target at seven yards. Let's put this little guy on paper, double action. As you can see, the accuracy is uh, no problem. I found with the uh, 40 and 50 grain loads, the heavier loads, they tend to kind of keyhole and tumble. Uh, and then I tried these lighter grain 30 grainers, and you see one, two, three, four, five, six, on about a two inch group from seven yards, uh, firing kind of fast. That's not bad. So, what exactly is the problem with the Charter Arms Pathfinder light? Well, I'll show you. I put over 300 rounds to the Charter Arms Pathfinder. I've had a number of misfires with the rimfire ammunition, uh, the 22 LR and 22 Magnum. You can expect a dud round every now and then, but with 22 Magnum, the ammo quality is a lot better, and it's been pretty rare for me to find 22 Magnums that actually will misfire every now and then. But for some reason, no matter what kind of ammunition I tried, this one didn't agree with any of it. About once every 25 rounds, I get a dud round, which is quite a lot for a uh, rimfire gun. Um, also, I want to point out that with these 30 grain rounds, uh, those shot, as you saw, pretty straight. But the 40 and 50 grain loads that I've tried, they tend to keyhole on target. So this one definitely likes the lighter grain ammunition. Uh, but with that said, we need to talk about the one thing I don't like about this gun and why you should not buy one. Let me show you. I take off our grips here, rip them off. 
you can see this is plastic. It's not even very well made plastic. It's uh, quite thin and it's on a stress bearing part. You see you have your mainspring here. This hangs on to your mainspring and provides tension for when the hammer comes back, right? This is a stress bearing part, guys. And it's cleverly hidden with these plastic grips and you're not going to ever see this on the specifications. Uh, I'm very disappointed in that, especially since they're not exactly giving these guns away. Uh, but I have real questions about how this is going to hold up over time. Um, so in short, if you want a charter arms gun, don't get the lightweight model. Get the all steel model. Or at least verify that your lightweight model, especially like a 38 Special, uh, 32 Magnum or whatever, um, actually comes with an aluminum uh, grip frame. And I also want to point out that the actual aluminum frame that co covers the cylinder here, it is basically sandwiched in with these bolts here. And the only solid section is up here where the barrel screws into the frame. So overall, they're not giving these guns away, so I really can't accept this. But since I'm stuck with it, I'll probably put it in a kit or something. Forget about it. And, uh, well, this is why you shouldn't buy a Pathfinder Light. That right there. Thank you for watching.